What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a little uh, Nega Cube. Nega Cube. I kind of like Inscription. Sack a creature, destroy a non-black creature. Inscription is pretty sweet. Make them discard. Return a creature with converted mana cost with two or less from your graveyard or destroy a creature with converted mana cost three or less. I also remember that stream when I found out. I actually have it saved right on my desktop here, which is kind of funny. What's going on? <laughs> That's it. That's a little clip from when I saved it because it was adorable. And it was a great moment for us. I think it's either inscription or attrition. I'm not sure how strong attrition will be. You know what? I'm going to take the attrition. Sack a creature. It's like, maybe we'll try the sack deck. I don't know. We'll see. Oh man, I just realized the Apex Altosaur did not come back in the last game. That's unfortunate. Demon Bolt seems great. I'm sure this is just fine, right? Sack deck is going to be black red. Icy Manipulator actually just seems bananas. I can't even log an MTGO. Well, that seems that seems like quality. Can we try to get? I actually I was in an SCG feature match back when SCG opens were a thing, and I had a deck with a Johnny in it, and I actually gained a hundred life in that matchup. Oh, I was using my arena password. <laughs> Isn't Fort Collins very close to Loveland? Yes, they're actually very close. Um, Loveland is actually like literally three minutes south of Fort Collins. They're actually like, they're almost connected basically. And we're also looking at houses in Loveland to rent because it's literally the same distance. So that's actually kind of funny. Mediocre Magic Man, if we ever end up being in the same place, we should definitely, uh, you know, get together and, and draft or something, whatever. Cause you know, pre COVID post COVID, of course. I don't even know what this clip is. <laughs> okay. That clip's fantastic. None of these cards are exciting. I kind of just want night pack ambusher to be quite honest. I want to take the night pack ambusher. Once, once I saw the clip, I was like, oh, I know exactly why I'm that excited. Ooh, Catacomb Sifter. Maybe Black Green is... Oh, I think I think Jund in its entirety is a sacrifice archetype. Yeah, let's take the Sifter. Let's take a Palaka Worm. I, I just love Palaka Worm. It just puts you back into games that you have no right being put in... Put, Right being put back into. Man, talisman again? We're always we're always we're always making us take this talisman. Come, Mr. Talisman, tally me bananas. Sack two creatures in her creature graveyard to the battlefield. Meh. Talisman seems good. Claim the first one's probably fine. I don't think I want to go into black just or red just yet i mean talisman's just a green talisman plus it lets us splash the red card that we might want to go into give us the taliban mm, tell me bananas That is the correct reaction to pack three, pick one ancestral. I agree with you. I agree with you. If you guys have never cast an ancestral recall, you can't even know. Let me see if I can pop this out. Because like I would have only so many. Yes. Apparently I cannot. Goblin sharpshooter. Do a little shooty, untap it. What is Nadier, Nadier's, Nadier's, I don't know how to prime. Whenever the token you lose battlefield, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Choose two creature cards in your graveyard, sack creature. Yeah, let's, let's take a victimize. That card seems bananas. Black, red. Champion of Ronus again? Oh man. I don't think we're it that betrays him, but if we are playing a sack deck, we want to take this Bastion, I think. I 
I can now join the next draft. You end up stalling it. How dare you? We got there. Um, Sarkon. Wow, that's actually really good for the sacrifice deck. Good gravy. Could be like, sack a token, make a 5-5. Five, five. <sighs> I should have went to the bathroom. Now I gotta go to the bathroom. Is this your supplier? Shh. Sure. I just bought 100 ticks and I actually play more than once every other month. That's, a, I mean, like, so there's going to be this cube this week and I think there's another cube next week, another different cube, so. Let's take Cathartic Reunion because it lets us discard, like, big creatures and then we can reanimate them with something like Victimize. Yeah, I'm going to take the land. Carrying Feeder is a pretty sweet discard or uh, sacrifice outlet, but I'd rather just have good mana. Oh, Mayhem Devil? For sure. Eh, yeah, claim the firstborn. So what do we got? We got Attrition, we got Victimize, we got Sarkon. Catacomb Sifter is a sack outlet. No, it's not. I lied to you. Okay. Oh, Corvold? Wow, that's like sack number one, dude. What does this dragon do? Create a, uh, create a dragon whelp, right? Dragon egg? Dragon, dragon egg? What is the worst card in magic history? That's a really good question. Jeez. We're taking Corvold, man. Worst card in magic history. I mean, I think the easy answer is one with nothing, right? I think I just like this five mana Sarkon. But Mask of Immolation is a sack outlet. All right, I'm taking the sack outlet. Ooh, Carpalusin Forest. Yeah, I'm just going to take the land now. We're getting higher red. Bring me a higher red. Whoa. I like Song Mad Treachery here. What does Wright do? Create two tokens. I like it. Create two more tokens. And then you make a demon. Hmm. I kind of like the song Mad Treachery. That's just good. I mean, Sorrow's Path switching blocks seems significantly better than One With Nothing, which says you lose the game. Or discard your hand. What the fuck does One With Nothing do, actually? I thought, hold on. I think it's discard your hand, right? Yeah, that's, that's a little trash. They're all trash. It doesn't matter. Not Godo. Haunted Plate Mail is kind of cool. I like Paradise Druid here. Yeah, I'll just take the Druid. Funny. It doesn't look Druish. Gutter Grime. Interesting. Gutter Grime's a cool build around. I mean, we're sacking creatures. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Just because an event against the odds deck does not do terribly. I don't know if that's a ringing endorsement, but I do appreciate it.
There's a lot of blue green lands or blue red lands rather. Beacon of unrest. Let me shuffle it. Dreadhorde invasion. Hmm. This is actually pretty good for both for victimized, for attrition, for yeah, this is actually let's take Dreadhorde Invasion. It's basically like a bitter blossom. Yeah, I'm not sure I even care about Stitcher's Supplier that much. I mean, if we end up discarding like a Palaka Worm to get back with like Victimize, I'm, I mean, that's fine. What's the hold up here? T -t -t Today, Junior. Boy, this is really, uh, this isn't really a hold to do. T -t -t Today, Junior. Just gonna wait it out. Oh fuck! Finally. Oh, this old chestnut again. Oh wow, Marin of Neltoth is insane. I mean, wait. Interesting. Okay, we're just gonna take sulfurous springs here. <laughs> Andy, I'm glad you think so. We're going to take this Sarkon. Poison the Cup is good too, but we already have Attrition and uh, uh, okay. Well, Sarkon's also removal actually. It deals four, negative three deals four. I mean, yeah, I like Primal Might a lot. I think it's a sweet card, so. Oh, main board. Oh, Red of Bells and Lock came back. Tragic Slip actually seems pretty decent. All right, we have a pretty good amount of ways to uh, to trigger it. Like, that's the entire point of the deck, right? Chromatic Star. What does this do? Oh, what up, Beatty? Uh, this is fine. I don't know if we're going to be playing it. Flame Lash is okay. Thank you for the bits, my dude. Really appreciate it. We took Magma Spray over the other one because it's cheaper. And I'd rather have more cheap interaction than expensive interaction. Manic Vandal just seems sweet. Second on color Talisman seems sweet. We are taking a bunch of damage from Sulphur Springs, Carpluz and Falls, Talisman, and Talisman. I think it's more important though. I think it's important to have good fixing and good ramp in most. Not too bad of a stream so far. I'm okay. Everybody's doing well. Everybody's doing all right. Everybody's been great so far. So no complaints. Oh, Platinum Imperion. That's interesting. What does this guy do? Whenever a creature plans work on opponent controls, it dealt excess non-combat damage. This deals equal deals damage equal to the excess to any target. So if I have a 6-6 six, six and they have a 2-2 two, two and they block it, I can deal 4 damage to any target. So it's kind of like Trample. Non-combat damage. That's interesting. Huh. This is good. 
this seems good, right? The other side is you just equip it and it becomes a hammer. I do like Blood Gift Demon a lot as well. Being able to keep draw a card lose life, you can also kill them with it. Keep that in mind. Why do you cost eight mana? I don't understand. Baby, I appreciate you saying so. Thank you so much. Emrakul's Evangel, actually, and any number of other non Eldrazi. Actually, let's take the Evangel. I think this guy's probably better. It's a sack outlet. It gives us a bunch of bodies. I do like Ultimate Price a lot here. Doomed Artisan is actually a card that I'm considering in my own cube. Um, it's 3 mana 1-1. One, one. Sculptures you control can't attack or block. Okay, cool. At the beginning of your end step, so, it, so that's nice because it means if this guy's on the board and you make it to your end step, you do get something out of it. Um, you create a colorless sculpture with this creature's power and toughness equal to the number of sculptures you control. So you make a 1-1. One, one. Next turn you make a 2-2. Two, two. Then you make a 3-3. Three, three. Then you make a 4-4. Four, four. Eventually this guy dies and then your army can attack. Your sculptures come to life. Which is kind of cool. I'm going to take the ultimate price. I feel like we wanted a little more removal last game. Oh wow. As far as sacrifice things go. Falcon Wrath Aristocrat is a banger. Do you have changelings in my cube? No, it's a vintage cube. There are very few ch faint changelings that would make the cut in a vintage cube, unfortunately. Maybe that's not unfortunate. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, Spark Harvest is actually fantastic. That's really good. Man, Nicol Bolas again? Good gravy. Could just be Evolving Wilds here. Oh, so it's actually Priest seems great, right? Let's take the Priest. Man. You're not Seth, so no Panharmonicon. I could have taken a Panharmonicon. Oh, Graven Cairns seems pretty nice. I'll take Graven Cairns. Take the Prime Mine out. We'll take a Temple of Malice here. Now we're just probably going for lands. <laughs> Cut green except Coral. I could see cutting this guy and this guy. This is non-token. I don't know if non-token matters, though. I mean, I also think Evangel's probably worth playing for sure. Like, And Moren is just insane. So, I mean, I, I, would, not, I would not cut Moren in a deck like this. But this is 23, and I'm kind of okay with playing it. Cathartic Reunion is kind of mad. I could see cutting Cathartic Reunion if we find anything better. Um... I'm just going to take Manic Vandal. That guy's good. That guy gives the business. The Blood Gift Demon came back, and that's a guy I wanted. Not sure we'll play him, but that's okay. And we also have Temple, Carpluzen Forest, and Talisman to facilitate the green as well. Dracuseth. You guys don't deserve the Dracuseth. Oh, Goblin Bombardment is interesting. That's got to be right. Hordling Outburst. That also seems correct. Whenever you sack a permanent... Okay, so maybe we're just like... Hmm. 
This seems like a pretty reasonable sack deck. I mean, it might just take out this Sarkon. I think it's good, but like, it's not doing our 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 plan. Take out the Magma Spray too, and bring in a Hordling Outburst. This seems pretty sweet. I have no idea if this deck is any good. We got nine creatures, right? We have Dreadhorde Invasion, which is kind of like ten. Mask makes a creature; it's kind of like eleven. Bastion makes one that's 12. Hordling Outburst is 13. Interesting. There's nothing else I really want to play, though, as far as creatures go. Mire Triton? I could see Mire Triton instead of, like, Talisman of Impulse. Kind of like that. So this would be one, two, three, four, five. I probably want six sources just to be safe. Five, six, seven, eight, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine, nine, six. It seems very good. Except that's one too many lands. Sort by color. I think we can take one red out. Eight red is still pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight with this guy. All right, I think this is fine. Priest, my train, do not. This is not non-token, right? Yeah, that seems really good. All right, let's see what we can do. What up, TPO? Good seeing you, buddy. I got a haircut tomorrow, and I can finally get rid of this long mane. I hope, I don't, I'm not sure, but I hope hairstylists in places like that are, uh, are high on the vaccination list because, it's, you know, Let's be real, like haircuts and, and things like that are luxuries, but they're also like almost necessary luxuries. Like people need job interviews. People have to present themselves for work, like things like that. So I live in Texas where the people in charge think COVID is a hoax. Two days ago, uh, Baylor woman's coach said masks and testing were bullshit on camera live. 500,000 people have fucking died and they're still morons. It's almost, I would say it was, it was comical if it wasn't so goddamn sad and tragic. Oh, baby, for sure. Um, Am I saying it correctly with Beatty? I feel like it's like Warren Beatty. That's what I think of, which is pronounced Beatty. Is it bait like B-A-T-E or Beatty like B-E-A-T? Do you hear this cat, dude? Betty? I got an interview tomorrow and I totally forgot. The thing is, Spencer, I hope most people will like understand why your hair is long, obviously, you know? Beady? Okay. Okay. Is that what they got? Okay. Land. Yep. Okay. Let's attack first. If they want to like bounce this, we can just replay it. 
I can't imagine bouncing it as the correct play. I guess we could have attacked with the Scion too. Beady. We're just Dread Horde Invasioning, and they can counter that, unfortunately. But, you know, what can you do? They have to figure out which other... Oh, I guess they're going to Rex Sage it. No, they can't Rex Sage it. Interesting. It's it's fun to think about, like, what cards they could have, and then remember, like, oh, wait, this was in a previous cube, so it can't be in here. Elvish Piper. Well, that thing's got to go. Land, please. Still nothing. Okay. Well. I guess we can sack this guy. Yeah, I kind of like that, I guess. Um, not even going to attack with this, because now they might just block with Sylvan Ranger. I think Sylvan Ranger blocking that is actually pretty good. As much as I want a Mayhem Devil, I really want lands. So... Mm, nope, still no. Also, sacking zombie army tokens in order to uh, activate priest is pretty decent. Two, two. Oh, we hit a land. Look at us go. This has got to be the right play, right? I mean, I guess not if they counter it. He passed away three years ago and magic was... <sighs> BD, are you on social media? Can you message me on like Twitter or Facebook? Good grief. That makes me real sad. I just don't really want to sacrifice the sifter here. That seems bad. It sucks because, like, even though you're like, oh, it was three years ago, but that still, like, doesn't really change anything, you know? Like, you're never going to be like, oh, yeah, I guess I just don't miss my best friend anymore, so. <sighs> That's rough. Yeah, BD, feel, feel free to shoot me a message and we'll figure out how to sign that bad boy. They have five cards in hand? Like, I don't even know what's going on here. What is this? If you control a creature power four or greater, sure. I mean, they're just going to sack the ranger here. I don't even think it's worth priesting. Okay. That Thank you. is not bad. Oh, the antibody with the gifted sub, you actual saint, you. Let's play Jester. So if we sack both of these, whenever we're playing, we have to just do one damage to any target. We sack both of these. They take two from this and two from this. They go to three. We can play Meyer Triton with the mana and also draw a card. We can also equip this, put it on the priest, shoot them for one, and then also they take another point from this. Like, we can literally put them to one here, which is kind of cool. It's one, two. If they lose two, that's four. Use the mana to equip the mask. Shoot, that's five, six. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Oh, God. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. Does that kill us? Five, seven, eight, nine. Seven plus five. This is 19 damage. This doesn't kill us, actually. No, there's actually 17 damage. Oh, getting vigilance is pretty rough, though. Jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Do we gain life here? No, they just lose life. This is 14. We can just block the Sylvan Ranger. Right? And then we just find a way to win here. We sack these two again. Choose any number of target players. Just you. Scry. Yep, that'll do. Shoot ya, shoot ya, shoot ya. Uh, I do not have anything to do with the two mana. Go to one. Uh, double red. Beetleback boys. Okay. Woo! Nailed it. I'll be back later prepping to make Bon Qua. I don't even know what that is. You sound like a crazy person. How do you like this queue? Uh, I, I think it's pretty sweet so far. I have not had any issues in terms of enjoyability. I'll keep this. Ain't no beetle back girl. Oh, look at those. Those look. Okay. So what is that? What is that they're in? Is that like, um, what is that called? Is that rice paper? Bottom. Wet napkins. Tapioca starch dough. Okay. It looks like. I'm trying to think of what it looks like. It looks like a sea creature of some sort, but I cannot think of what kind of sea creature I'm thinking of. Actually, I'm just going to play this. Ooh, maybe we should have played. I think we messed up. I think we should have played this, and then next turn we can sack this to kill it with both devil. And that's annoying, but eh, what are you going to do? Black fungus. <laughs> we just call them mushrooms, buddy. God. Thomas is so weird all the time. Yeah. See, this is another mistake, not being able to kill this. Because I didn't I didn't think of the the combination of being able to kill the incubation druid. Now they can just add three. Which is worse. Kazandu Mamathio. Okay. I mean, Meyer Triton's pretty good at holding off anything that isn't Toski. And Mayhem Devil is fine holding back Toski, so. Unless they have a white pump spell. No, they did not. They also have two cards in hand. I'm okay with that. Ain't no 
I'm a bad girl. Whenever you sacrifice anything. I feel like Icy is the better play here. Yeah, it just gives us more future things. <laughs> Rat ear mushrooms. Oh, that's wild. What a time to be alive. Oh my god, every game with this freaking guy? Jesus, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many times am I going to just lose to NRA's Forerunners here? So what is this? 7, 12, 16. Guess I'll take 15, go to 7. That doesn't actually seem terrible. Except they draw 3 cards. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. Green source would be great. So, what do we do? We block like here. Oh, man, where are my bodies at? This feels like the best we can do if we want to just keep up icy, which is probably fine. I don't think this is going to go well. <laughs> oh man I was gonna be like breath of life get back end race forerunners resurrection uh chariot seems fine Next turn, okay sure doesn't have haste so that's really the only thing I'm concerned with I, mean, I think we're definitely sacrificed. <laughs> oh man, they could not have done that faster. I'm just going to concede here. I think they have like too much going on. I, I mean, I can actually pinpoint the exact moment we lost that game. It was when we let the incubation druid survive, unfortunately. <sighs> it's a sorcery. That's obnoxious. I'm always playing 17 lands plus mana rocks, and I still feel like I'm just, like, not having enough mana to do the things I want to do. Yeah, let's keep this one. Victimize actually seems great here. Because we can mill two things. Oh, what up, Beatles? Appreciate you saying so. I got your chief right here. <laughs> Getting Aristocrat back is not terrible. The problem with this is you have to choose the creatures, then sack it. So it's like, they have to be in the graveyard. 
Show me that smile again. All right, let's see if we can actually uh, not get end raised four runnered three games in a row. Thank you. Hmm. I see. Okay. Antibody with a gifted sub. Man, you're really. Um, I don't actually want that. I will pass and not use the mana. I hear you, buddy. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I almost kind of want a red source just to, like, not have to miss a turn here. And yeah, we're just going to attack with both. Oh, okay. Just take four. So, red, red. Taking two here. That's fine. Spoiler, those are part of my one-year sub-anniversary gift. I feel like I should be giving you the gift, though, right? Either way, buddy, happy one-year anniversary. Okay, that's very interesting. Wow. You're going to bounce your own guy. What a time to be alive. Meyer Triton? Well, that's interesting. Oof. Don't waste no I mean we want we want aristocrat in play, so we're gonna victimize. Get back Jester and Aristocrat. Sack one goblin. They come in and play tapped? God dang it. Um I'm gonna put this guy on the top. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um we're gonna attack all at the Venser. If they want to block a one one, put Venser to one, that's fine. And still put it on top, I think. I think I'm tempted to kill this too, actually. We can we can sack like a beetleback chief. Oh, uh, still on top, yeah, sure. I feel like that worked out pretty well for us. I miss Vencer. Well, he didn't go anywhere. He's still here. Oh, wow. That was a good draw. One, two, three, four. This is fine. You got it. Deal. Um. I will keep that on top. I mean, I feel like this is going to get countered, but... Actually, maybe we just don't play anything, to be quite honest. I think not playing anything here is totally fine. I think they have a counterspell. They tapped in, ex in exactly the way that they would tap if they had a counterspell. We have lethal on board. Mm, sure. 
you hit to hit what two creatures? You get Enrys Forerunners again, and Ronus. What are you doing, little bud? Funny. And we're up up match. What are you doing, Watts? You okay? Okay. All right. I just took the boys out for those watching on YouTube. It got paused when I was holding Wally Watson. And then I resumed when Watson was gone. So it was probably very jarring. It's getting a little chill in here. I should probably close this window. So I'm going to do that. I was playing a game when you went BRB and the dramatic music in the background made me freak out thinking I was about to fight a boss. <laughs> See, that's pretty funny. That's comedy. Ooh, this hand is good. Keep it. Snap it off. We don't have a black source, I've just noticed. The level of goodness has lowered. We're going to find one. We did it. All right, we're good at this game. Turn two, turn three, turn... We'll get a four drop. Oh, look at this waif. More like a reckless chocolate wafer. <laughs> the scry was a guaranteed black switch. Do you hear this cat in the background? Oh, that's pretty good. Because now we can gain two. Find a four drop. Um, that's actually pretty good. That is going to be a good four. And then we have a Sarkon to get him, to get him knocked out. I feel like if they're like a mono red aggro deck, our, our, our things are pretty good. Oh, you hit a Tuk Tuk and two lands. And then this guy, it's going to make you draw. Worser, it is a worser blossom. <laughs> what up, J-Dub? <laughs> is it a better blossom? No, it's a worser. It's a much worser blossom. Um, Let's play a green. Let me go black. Oh, not black. We want the red. Red, red, red. I mean, I'm fine with not attacking because they don't really have anything going on that's pressuring us. Dude, Kitty Cat's being loud, bro. Kitty Cat, why are you being so loud, bro? Whenever this enters the battlefield or attacks, sack another perm. We get to draw a card. Or we can Sarkon make a goblin token. Huh. I think this is... Man, I actually don't know. So this gets us, we get it to draw another card from Sarkon next turn, which is just fine. Oh my god, dude, can you hear him? He's like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You might, you guys, can you hear him or did you just say Mao because I said he was being loud? I actually don't know.
We didn't sack this because I just like the value of having a 4-4 that could potentially get lifelink at some point, which is definitely helpful in this matchup, I feel. I understand. <laughs> I see. Two lands and a last order. So we're just both playing Jun decks. Three, four, five. I will see your Sarkon. Should have played Talisman first. But I wanted to see what I hit. Like, if I hit a Tragic Slip, I think it was better. If we hit, like, a Magma Spray, um, sp the Sparky card. Like, we did have options. So, I mean, it's easy to say, like, we should have done this in hindsight, but... Um, we're definitely just attacking Sarkon. We either kill Sarkon or we kill the dragon. Oh, see, there we go. Yay, Dargons. Dargons is right. Yeah, that's fine. Zombie army is going to get bigger. What does it say? Whenever a zombie you control with power six or greater attacks, it gains lifelink. Okay. Wait, what happened? Did they negative two? Oh, they blocked. Okay, so they only have one dragon. Got it. I was like, wait, what happened? They have the same dragon. That doesn't make any sense. So they discarded, they sacrificed Fissure Wizard to, Fissure Wizard? I, I cannot say that without saying uh, Fissure Wizard. Sorry. To play a Chromatic Star. So that's just fine. I think they're out of options and I think our board is just very good. That guy flips. This guy's a 5-5. Five five. See, that's pretty good. That's probably game, right? <laughs> um... It doesn't give plus one, plus one. So that's unfortunate. I mean, kind of tax. Let's sack this goblin first. And then we can kill this. And we get to draw a card. Huh. Yeah, fascinating. I will take a point. So this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 damage. Man, we're mana short, right? Like we need 1, 2, 3, 4, we need 8. So we can definitely kill this with ultimate price. Actually, we can only do her, right? Well, we, we can, I guess we can play both of these. Double kill this in this 8, 18, 19, 20. That seems pretty unreal, right? You like how I tapped in such a way that I got to take a damage? That's pretty good. Oh, we actually get to draw more cards? Oh, boy. Oh, but they're gaining life, too, so that doesn't really do as much. I think we can safely go to nine here. I'm really not. But let's play this first. Uh, one, two. Get rid of this guy. Sure, sack it to himself. Yeah, we took an extra point this game, so if that comes back to haunt us. Um, attack your face, attack your face, attack your face, and then attack Sarkon. Let's 
get rid of a forest here. So this is what, 10, 20, 22. We'd be three shy here. But we cleared out their, their board, so that's pretty good. I feel like we're in good shape. Unless they wipe the board. I guess then we just make a dragon. Falconrath Aristocrat. <sighs> well. We shall see. And they had nothing. Magma spray seems decent here. I'll probably just put it in and play the, play the 41. Claim may be awesome, but my concern is if they have things to sacrifice themselves, it's not, it doesn't feel as great. Like if they have creatures or onboard things that can that can sack at instant speed, then it's like, well, they're just gonna sack it in response. But I guess like I mean that is a way to get it off the board. Uh yes, I will keep this hand. Super Fritz, we should definitely do an Among Us stream soon. I agree. Okay. What does this do? Spiteful prankster. So it's a 3-2 with first strike. Whenever another creature dies, it deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. Okay. I kind of want to play this and next turn play Hordling Outburst and sack this guy and all the creatures to it. Let's see if that's a thing we can do. And then we make four three twos. Um, yeah, that guy's good enough to keep on top. Beatty, thank you for the bits, buddy. Next time your MTG opponent says, hey, good luck, just on it as you wish. He's no good to me dead. I need him alive. As you wish. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take six here. Could be crazy. I mean, in order to in order to kill like our guy, they have to do some some shenanigans here. Oh wow! They just let it resolve. They can deal one, two, three, four. No, because this is their sack outlet, right? So they go sack this guy, we take two. Sack this guy, we take two. Sack this guy, we take one. Because this guy's dead. Oh, wait, is this any creature? Oh! Oh, both of these kill us! <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna concede then. That's I didn't actually realize it was um when any player sacrifices. Now we're gonna bring claim the firstborn in. Oh wow, that's a big that's a big big 
Good gravy. That that is bad news bears. I kind of like Palaka Worm here, to be honest. Yeah, I'm like, all oh, right, I'll make four guys. And they're like, oh, you'll take eight. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, boy. Um... Let's take out attrition. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. So, like, even if there's a land on top, we still have three drop, three drop, four drop, four drop, five drop, five drop. So, like, we have to get significantly luck. Here we go again. Here we go again. Mulligan to five. They kept on seven. Seven on the draw versus five on the play. Let's keep this handful of red cards and no red lands. Uh, let's put a beetle back chief and a forest back, I guess. No, nope, let's go beetle back hordling. Oh, boy. Well, never fails. Oh, wow. They're playing... Wait. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty interesting. It might be the only companion in the cube. I'm checking right now for companions. No, Karuga's in the cube. And I think that might be it. Yes, looks like just Karuga, Karuga and, uh, well... Hey, get a 1-1. One, one. And I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Oh, boy. Sarkon, Bastion, and Claim. No creatures, which is nice, because I feel like one of the only things you're going to be able to do with the graveyard is creature nonsense. Yep. Can't play anything. Boy, these have been some really fun and interactive games that I've lost. Okay, and let's go to the next round so I can save time and not waste my life. <sighs> How many games of Magic are decided by one person playing and the other person not doing anything? I feel like it's been at least three tonight. Did you say Jund? Oh, I thought you meant Golgari. My bad.
All right, let's go. Let's get it done. Let's see if we can two one this time. One yo, two yo. This seems fine. If we get any red, it's very good. We have two turns. And if we get any land in general, we can play this guy still. So, I'm okay with it. What do you think about a starter cube product from Wizards, like a low power cube? Um, Are we talking about like real cards? Like it's having, it's going to have like actual playable cards? Or is it going to be like a collector's edition slash international edition that has like, if it's got playable cards in it, most cubes are 360 to either, either 360 for exactly eight players or 540 if you want variety. And my concern would be that like, that's going to be very pricey, especially because like you're going to have, like if every color had three lands, right? Every color combination. I mean, you know, you're looking at 30, 30 lands right there, 20 of which are probably rare. And then maybe you can have an uncommon or a common land. I think it could be fun. Like, I think it's actually a good, I think it's a good idea personally. Do I think wizards would ever do it? No, because I think wizards, A, wizards bread and butter is selling packs. And B, by selling a product like that with specific cards in it, you're kind of putting a value on those cards, which I guess they kind of do with things like commander products. I don't know. It's really, I mean, I love the idea of it. Look at this little guy. Okay. Look at all the things that you can do. Sack this. One, two. So we're gonna have one, two, three damage with the, tr with the. bottom that's great for us um i'm going to i'm going to actually 3 4 5 it's double red though all right we're going to bottom it unfortunately Well, that's pretty good. I guess I like that. Sure. So they're just going to chump block here. So we might as well sack this.
Okie dokie. That's a thing, I guess. I wish we had a second red here. I mean, they're kind of dead on board, right? We equip, sack this, deals them two. Equip, sack this, deals them two. That'll, that's pretty good. It's a reasonable source of, uh, of life gain there. Four life every turn. They have two cards in hand, one of which I assume they might discard to this. Cast Discovery, they put Attic Our Wastes and Pondering Mage, so they drew a random card. That is a... That is a thing. Two, three, one, two, equip, shoot. Bordling outburst. Mm, bottom again. Drunk. Okay, let's see what happens. They can go to eight, and we have four, five, six, and we have nine on board, plus infinite sacks from Falcon Rather Aristocrat. Wow, our deck is sweet. Magma spray. I haven't seen anything worth icing yet, so I'm going to take the icy out, which feels weird, but that's okay. I'm going to keep this hand. I think Moran is very, very good, and also it... Uh... We have all our colors. We have things to play. Are you guys still there? No one has said anything in four minutes, and that creeps me out. I'm always like, oh, God, what happened? Did everyone just decide to go silent at the same time? It's so weird to me. Magma Spray is nice because it hits the stupid Sigrid. Shh, we all left. Dang it. I'm here. <laughs> Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you, baby. Bidi, 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 bidi. Um, I guess we're going to just go Foresto. I don't think I have any reason to play this. We have five lands in hand, so we can cast pretty much everything in our deck. There was time now. Okay. Hmm, Aristi. Aristi Krato. I think we play Aristocrat first. If they counter it, we just go Marin and then get it back. That seems good, right? Oh. They did nothing. Oh, no. Well, you know what? Now you're just being rude. I guess we can go Marin next turn. And also Magma Spray.
Ooh, that's interesting. We can also just play Sarkon and hit a zero. And then next turn, shoot this, get our Falcon Wrath Aristocrat back. Oh, next turn we can Song Mad Treachery this guy, sack it to the Sarkon. I don't hate that. Oh, hit a one. Nice. Sarkon takes three. Steal your guy. That's fine. I don't know if there's four spike in here, but we're going to play around it anyway. One, double red, song mad treachery. This seems very good. <laughs> And we can just keep Tragic Slip up. There's no reason to, to be slipping here. We could have also Magma Sprayed this and then kept Tragic Slip up. I'm eating a Nutty Buddy. Nutty Buddies are delicious. The peanut butter in Nutty Buddies is probably one of my favorite things. No, what am I thinking of? What are the cookies? Nutter Butters. Nutter Butters have the legit... Best filling, best peanut butter filling ever. Unsure if I would play over Jace the Mind Sculptor. I mean, that feels unlikely. See, the problem with Sarkon now is that it's a, or we have to hit a land. One, two. We did not, but that's okay. We got a dragon out of it. We got we drew two cards and hit a dragon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I mean, we can just go Mayhem Devil Marin here. So black, red, this is a Marin here. And this is a Mayhem Devil. The funny thing is we can also sack the Mayhem Devil to kill both of the other guys. And then we get a card back. They have one card. Yeah, I feel like I'm overthinking this. We have quite a bit of an advantage here. Interesting. This only gets attacking creatures, right? Nah, that's fine, I guess. Oh no, Soul Herder. See what they hit. It 
If I sack the mayhem double, it triggers itself, right? I feel like I should know this. Or should we just be worried about killing them here? Four. This becomes a 2-2, two -two, which it does concern me just a little bit. The question was if we sack Mayhem Devil if it if it actually uh triggers on its own ability. And I, I knew it I, I, for some reason I knew it did. I don't know why I I was playing. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually we need three black. One, two, three, four. I don't think we have enough. We need one, two, three, four, five colors. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we do have enough. Is that right? So black, double black. Keep a black up and then we go, yeah, okay, we can do this. Double black, green, attrition. Then we can go one, two for mask. Oh, uh, we can bottom that. We don't have enough. You fly. Magma spray is an instant though. So I guess we're doing that. I mean, we definitely could have waited until next turn, let them pay the five, but what do they got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have 10 mana, so I mean, it doesn't really hinder them that much. Mill four cards and return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Nesting dragon is okay. Although they've already played their land for the turn, so that's good. And they can get Soul Herder and Blink the Beetle Chief. That doesn't do much. Sigrid doesn't do anything. I feel like between Mayhem Devil, Elemental Token, and Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, they're probably dead. None of these creatures block flying. None of these, I mean, like, Nesting Dragon's good. You should probably just get the Nesting Dragon, even though you've played your land. But we can just sacrifice something. Oh, it comes into play tapped? Yeah, they're dead. Well, everything dies to attrition, but we do have to have creatures to sacrifice to attrition, so... Okay. Okay. Two, one. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Deck was sweet. Mega Cube's pretty fun. I'm having a good time. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to head over to twitch.tv and subscribe if you're able to. You can also subscribe on on, on uh, YouTube as well. There is a subscription feature, a membership feature, where you can support there as well. So definitely check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.